Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a short Doodly animation and turn it into a GIF file. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you're looking for a quick and fun way to spice up your emails, text messages, websites, and blog posts, then this tutorial is for you. GIFs have become more popular than ever, so it's time to learn how to create them. Using Doodly to create the animation is the easy part, but from there it's not all that difficult to turn it into a GIF, or GIF if you prefer. Keep in mind that GIFs are short sequences of still frames that loop over and over and over. Thus, we want our video to be pretty darn short, so let's go ahead and get started. You'll see here that I've already created my little title sequence, and I'm going to use this as an example. It's about five seconds long, which should be just fine for our purposes. We might want to use this GIF file in an email to get and then drive people to go over to the tutorial. And so it's going to just come on really quick, capture their attention, and then they click the link and off they go to watch the actual video. You could also embed it in your website or a blog post and that way you don't have to do a full-blown video upload you just treat it like an image and it does its thing let's take a quick preview of what I have so far so I am not using the hand and I'm just having the screen and text draw on followed by our dancing people it's pretty darn basic now what I want to have happen is for it to loop over and over and over. I may want to have a slight pause so they can see the image statically before it disappears and starts over again. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to scene settings and I'm gonna add, we'll say two seconds at the end. Now, what I also can do is have it swipe away because it's gonna repeat over and over so I want it to go away so we have a clean slate and then immediately it's going to start redrawing. So to do that, I need to add a new scene. And by default, this is a five second scene and that's going to be way too long. So what I want to do is add something that's just blank and shorten this scene. So I'm going to use text. I'm going to delete everything here, except for a couple of these periods are fine. And then I'm going to turn these invisible. So I click the gear icon and go to opacity and turn that to 0%. They're now invisible, but they're going to draw on unless I tell it not to. So I'm going to go over here and type in 0 on my duration. So now I have just a very short half second scene where it swipes, it's blank, and then it's going to come on. So now if we preview it, okay, this comes on, my guy comes on, we see it static for a couple of seconds and then it swipes away. And then when the GIF repeats itself, it's just gonna repeat. So now that we have our video, we're gonna go ahead and export it. Set your resolution as you'd like. I'm gonna do 720 and click continue. Now this is creating a video file, and that's okay because we're going to take this video file and convert it into a GIF file. Now some video editors have an export option where it'll export it into an image sequence and you can make a GIF that way, but others don't, and you might not have such a tool. So instead of going that route, we're going to go over to Google and we're going to find a video to GIF converter. I've used this one in the past and it works just fine, so I'm going to use this again. And all you need to do is upload your file right here. So let's go ahead and find it, drag and drop it into place, and click Upload. Now you can make some adjustments here if you need to. I'm going to increase my frame rate 
and click Convert to GIF. Let me scroll over here. You'll see it's doing its thing. And notice how it's looping over and over. Now we can save the image. You right click on it, save image as. And we now have our GIF file. I'm going to give it a name. So now that you've created your GIF file, you can use it just like you would any other GIF file. So you could post it on your Facebook, you could embed it in your email newsletters, you could put it on your website. You can even bring it back into Doodly if you'd like. So let's do that just real quick. Start with a fresh scene. Go to props, click the blue plus sign, and drag your GIF file into place. So why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes you might want to have a doodly within a doodly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's use this TV. Now you're only seeing the first frame, so it's a little hard to deal with, but you know what's in there anyway. And we know that this scene that we've created, our GIF is like seven seconds long, so let's just give plenty of time for our scene to actually play it. So let's just say 20 seconds. I don't necessarily want the hand drawing that on, so I'm gonna do zero seconds. And I'll just make this pretty short. So what I'm gonna have happen here is a hand is gonna come on and draw the television, and then my doodly is gonna come on. I do need to turn my hand back on. And that should be good. It should give you an idea how this works. Preview. So here's my hand drawing on my TV in the arrow. And then all of a sudden, my GIF comes on. And it goes away, and then it just repeats. And there you have it. How to create an animated GIF file using Doodly. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.